Welcome back to another episode of At The Shooting Range and today I've got a special for you. I'm showing you all the revolvers that are currently in game. That would be the .357 you can see me holding there. Um, it comes in black. And then there's the .44 in silver and the .44 in custom. These uh, revolvers are yeah, kind of unique in this game because they don't weigh um, very much. You can almost always uh, pack one. And um, you can even unlock a third weapon slot um, by buying a Holstein shop. So, yeah, as I've said, you can always bring one along. And um, what's also special about these weapons is they are kind of cheap. Uh, the 0.357 you can see me holding is 350 EMS in store. Uh, weights only one weight unit. The 0.44 in silver is 425 EMS and the 0.44 custom is 525 EMS. Uh, both uh, 0.44 caliber weapons weigh one and a quarter weight unit each. And yeah, that's not much at all. So um, they are used at pretty close distances. They are zeroed in at 25 meters without a scope and 50 meters with a scope. And um, there's a single scope you can buy for these revolvers. They all use the same one. It's the 2 times 20 millimeter revolver scope and you can get them that for 250 EMS in store. Yeah, as a close range weapon, uh, close range stopping power is really good, um, especially with the bigger caliber ones, the 0.44 silver and custom. Now here you can see the 0.44 in silver, also a very nice looking revolver. and. Um, yeah, you can um, hunt different species with um, the different calibers. That'll be um, for the 0.357. You can hunt all bird species. Uh, that means pheasant, turkey and mallards. Also coyote and red fox are permitted, as well as roe deer, white tail, black tail and mule deer. Uh, the 0.44 uh, caliber uh, allows you to hunt turkey. Um, you can still hunt coyote but not the red fox. And um, then you can hunt elk, red deer, wild boars, hawks and black deer with it. And of course roe deer, white tail deer, black tail deer and mule deer. So if you get one of these um, you have a lot more species to hunt with. However, you can, can't shoot pheasant, mallard and red foxes. So, um, what's the use of those guns? Um, you can take um, them as a sidearm for um, a quick shot from the hip if you go through the bushes. Um, if you're a fan of pistol or revolver hunting, they are quite useful too. Um, I rarely use them because I rather hunt with uh, rifles or bows. But um, yeah, they're nice to have and uh, fun to shoot. It might be that um, I come from Germany and um, yeah, kind of like this style of hunting we practice here that I haven't concerned myself so much with pistols and revolvers because you here in Germany you usually take them for um, yeah what um, we call it Fangschüsse. So. Um, if an animal is wounded already and you have to track it down and um, find it still still alive, um, you use a pistol to end its life. And I heard in the US uh, especially there are a lot of hunters that um, go hunting with um, a pistol or revolver. So if you are into this it's kind of nice. Um, else if you don't, yeah. Then, then it's not so interesting because in this game you really need to uh, put down an animal at all. Um, the .44 um, caliber is also very useful if you hunt um, the game that's attacking you. That means 
black bear and wild boars in this case. Um, you can't hunt the other animals that can attack you, um, moose and brown bear with it. It's not permitted on those, but um, if you stumble upon a wild boar or black bear that wants to attack you, um, yeah, the .44 caliber revolvers are a good weapon to you know, save your life and then you don't have to restart from a lodge. can save you a lot of time. And yeah, as I've said, um, you can always take one along, so it's nice to have, but not a must. Now here you can see the .44 custom, uh, black and silver, very unique looking revolver, um, yeah, it's a custom one. So um, I'm standing here at the White Heart Island uh, Causeway Lodge pistol range and yeah, let's start shooting and see what those revolvers can do. So here we are with the .357. Notice that the reload speed and the rate of fire are exactly the same for all three of these revolvers. And um, the rate of fire is pretty high, you will see it soon. Um, you might even be able to take a double or triple with those weapons, if you're lucky, or skilled, or both. <laughs> and um, notice that these guns are double action revolvers, all of them. So this puts your rate of fire a bit down because you have to cock the gun after each shot. So we start at 50 meter range. The sights are quite nice on these guns. You see, I'm cocking after each shot. Quite precise. Doesn't have much um, do you call it in English um, Rückstoß um, if the gun goes up after you shoot. Um, isn't the case here? Oh, quite nice. So let's see the point forty four in silver. A uh, bit different scope. Uh, notice that this sound is a lot louder. And um, yeah, as I've said earlier, they are zeroed in with no scope attached at 25 meters. So if you shoot at that range up to 25 meters, you don't have to aim higher, but as you can see here. Um, it drops a lot later on, so see that um, difficult to shoot at higher ranges, but yeah, they are close combat weapons actually, so this might work. Um, if you go for long range shooting with uh, revolvers, you should definitely get the scope um, or really, really. Um, try them out at the shooting range first. So now the custom one. Um, you will see this one has uh, very delicate sights. Uh, see it here. Um, makes it easier to shoot. And the sound is quite awesome. I uh, really love the sound. Can you hear it? Um, big difference to the normal. 0.44 gun and yeah however it doesn't have any more stopping power it's just um, um, a vanity item actually um, you get a nice looking gun um, nice sound and um, yeah but it's just a matter of how many EMS or money do you want to spend. If you like it though, I think it's great. So um, I'm gonna be back in a minute and so that's what it looks like uh, if you have a scope attached. And now it's zeroed in at 50 meters. So everything 
and that at distance we will go straight to the cross where you aim. After that, it loses a lot of stopping power, anyhow, so uh, be sure to aim for wide areas of animals you want to take, especially it's, if it's a bigger animal. So, let's see for the point 357 with the scope. It looks like this. Same here. Easy to aim, actually, especially at shorter ranges. So, definitely worth a buy if you like scopes, and it's not very expensive at all. I'm gonna put up a scope. I have two of those because of um, the retail versions I bought not three which would have been handy here but yeah enough is enough so here's the point 44 in silver with scope it's um, the revolver I used most I think I've got 51 kills or harvests harvests with it so far as I've said, not my favorite weapons, but there is a niche for them. They can be fun to hunt with, and that's a thing of personal taste and choice. So, thank you for watching. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, feel free to comment. Um, on YouTube, add me at the Hunter if you like to, or have any questions you want to ask me. And um, I'm also very happy about every subscription and like for this video. So have a nice time. Goodbye.